What is going on guys? My name is Nikia. So today I wanted to show you my Apple TV living room setup. I'm gonna walk you through all the accessories and how I use my living room setup. Let's get started with the heart of the entire setup. The Philips Picopix Micro 2 TV. It is an incredible projector Look at the size of this thing. It's absolutely insane. I love it so much because on how portable this guy actually is. Just look at this once again. Look at my hand. It is so small. You've got a built-in battery which lasts up to four hours. So you can probably watch two movies and a bunch of YouTube videos and a bunch of Netflix shows. I love projectors that have a built-in battery because that means that you can literally take it anywhere you want to a camping, to your friend's house. Maybe you wanna take it outside. Maybe you wanna take it outside while you're having a dinner, a barbecue, whatever it is. I find it really useful that there's actually a built-in battery. You've also got this detachable tripod which just folds just like this, which you can just put inside of your bag. And look at this, you've got this incredible set up. I have to say that the tripod is actually really well built and you can adjust the orientation of your projector in a bunch of different angles. Okay, so the screen of the projector can get up to 80 inches. That is massive. It of course depends on how far away you take it from the wall. On the back, you've got a couple ports. You've got an HDMI port. You've got a headphone jack, which is good if you want to connect it to external speakers. You've got a USB and a USB-C port. If you're an Apple fan, if you use Apple products, you're really going to love this because you don't really need an adapter in order to connect it straight to your projector. Quality of the actual projection is phenomenal. You're gonna get very vivid colors, very high contrast. Now the biggest selling point, apart from how portable this guy actually is, is that it's actually got built-in Android TV. Now, it's a very big deal because you basically do not need an external device such as an Apple TV to play your movies, to mirror your screen. It's unbelievably useful because let's say, you, you know, you just want to put on a Netflix show. You don't need to get an Apple TV. You do not need a Chromecast. It's already built in for you. So just think about this. Like it's actually got a built-in battery. It's super portable and it's got built-in Android TV. That is amazing. And with Android TV, you've got an enormous ecosystem of apps that you can, of course, use. Of course, if you want, if you're an Apple fan, you can, of course, connect an Apple TV. But I see myself not using my Apple TV because whenever I just wanna watch stuff, maybe I just wanna mirror um, YouTube directly to the projector, I can sim simply, I have that option right there. So you technically do not need something, an external device. It's already there built in for you, which is amazing. Every projector should have this built in. When I'm on my Apple TV, another advantage is that I get to connect it with my HomePod, which literally just blasts audio right next to me, which is great because I've got it right next to my Puff. And the HomePod just sounds so good when you're watching movies and series. The HomePod, you can criticize it as much as you want, but one thing that you cannot criticize is the sound quality on how good it actually sounds. What else is in my living room setup? Well, I've also got my PS4. I still haven't bought the PS5 because it's something that I don't really game that much and I only play like like one or two games, which are mostly Star Wars games, Battlefront 2 especially. So I'm perfectly happy with my PS4 and gaming on a projector this big is seriously so cool. I've also got a Puff, as I said, I got it really, really cheap out of Amazon. Links are in the description. This is not sponsored. So that's pretty much it gonna wrap it up for my Apple TV living room setup. Thank you so much, Philips, for sponsoring this video. This projector is absolutely insanity. Once again, the size of this thing is insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.